Well, I've gone rogue, straight out of America into Canada on a long road trip to find out if the Nissan Rogue is worthy of its rebellious name. Let's find out. Well, to start, there's nothing particularly roguish about the exterior. It's been slightly redesigned for 2011, but it's nothing outrageous. You definitely don't want something out of the ordinary when it comes to an interior, and the Rogue is pretty straightforward. The navigation system is straightforward and easy to use. I like the way the vents open and close. Dash is nicely laid out. Cup holders. Basically everything falls to hand very easily. You also have some controls on the steering wheel. The heated leather seats are quite comfortable. Lumbar support for the driver. And the back has plenty of space for long road trips, thankfully. Already driven 611 miles in the road and it's been very comfortable. No real blind spots up front. Nothing roguish either. Just a lot of room and a lot of comfort. The engine is a two and a half liter four cylinder making 175 horsepower. That's good for zero to 60 in about 8.3 seconds. Just heading out on a long road trip in the Rogue and couldn't ask for a finer scenery. It's a symphony of color. Even in the fog, outward visibility is good in the Rogue. You sit up high and there's really no blind spots looking forward. Well, the Rogue handled our first test very well. It's driven us 400 miles almost on one tank to Cleveland, Ohio and the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Please turn next left. The navigation is pretty precise. The only thing I would wish for is perhaps the ability to type places names. I think that would be a bit more convenient. But even here in Canada, so far, it hasn't gotten me lost. Turn right after 600 feet. Starting the long trip home, the Rogue has performed flawlessly. Seven hours to go and 461 miles. The Rogue has been a great travel companion. Deceitful, unreliable, playful, mischievous. These are all things that are associated with being a Rogue. And I'm perplexed as to why Nissan would call this car the Rogue. It's not any of those things. It's just a good car that offers you a lot for your money and you can equip it with as little or as much luxury as you'd like. So I'm a little confused about the name, the Nissan Rogue, but what it is, is a great car and a great travel companion. I'm driving Ivan Katz.